few days ago, I sat down and recorded a video talking about how I never expected David Clemmer to ever leave the Bulldogs. I thought he was a Bulldog through and through. Josh McGuire is exactly the same. I thought he was a Bronco through and through. I never would have expected him to leave. What the hell is actually happening in the NRL? Is anybody ever going to finish a contract? Now, I'm not even going to get into the whole break in the contract stuff. That's for another video. Now, if you asked me and said, Luke, who do you think is the biggest grub in the NRL? I'd probably say Josh McGuire. I can't stand Josh McGuire, whether it's for the Broncos, whether it's for Queensland, Australia, whatever. I just don't like him. In saying that though, you can't deny he's a great player. There's a reason Broncos fans loved him and there's a reason he played for Queensland. Now, I think he's going to be a huge loss for the Broncos. Now, I know the Broncos have a lot of juniors coming through the ranks and they're actually pretty good, probably the best in the league. But at the same time, Josh McGuire is an origin level prop right now. The Broncos were going to 2019, losing Sam Thide, losing Corbin Sims, and now losing Josh McGuire. That's a lot of experience to lose in one year. It'll be interesting to see how things play out with Pangai Jr. I don't think the Broncos can afford to lose him after just losing Maguire. So with Maguire moving to the Cowboys, obviously they've got Jason Tomalala at the lock position. You expect that to say the same. You'd probably think Josh Maguire is going to slot into the prop position. That sort of brings up the whole debacle with Matt Scott. Is he going to retire? Is he not? The Cowboys are saying he isn't, but I wouldn't be surprised if he does. At least they're setting themselves up for the future anyways. If Matt Scott doesn't retire this year, he'll probably retire next year. So Josh Maguire is a good replacement. It's weird to think that even though the Cowboys have lost Jonathan Thurston for 2019, they're probably going to be a stronger team. Just imagine if the Cowboys retained Kalen Ponga. They would have been so set for like the next 10 years. I'll tell you what though, their side right now is going to be pretty darn strong. Ben Barber comes into the team. Obviously, Josh McGuire. They're still going to have Jordan McLean another year in the honor roll. Cohen Hess, um, Gavin Cooper, Tam Malalo. They're going to have a really, really strong forward pack and just a strong team in general, I reckon. Overall, I think the signing of Josh McGuire is a very, very good one for the Cowboys. I think it's exactly what they needed to complete their forward pack. I want to know what you guys think. Leave in the comment section below, what do you think of the Josh McGuire signing? Good or bad? And do you think the Broncos can afford to lose Josh McGuire? Also, while you're at it, if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, that would be fantastic. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke on YT. Righto, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.